song she come on everybody train karate <laughs> Bam! What the fuck is up, folks? Juvie the Kid here. Fuck a title. Shout! What is up? Uh, I've also, real quick, before we get into everything else I want to talk about today on the show, um, I've been getting asked a little bit lately, why do I call this fuck a title show? Honestly, I didn't know what to call this. I didn't want it to be, like, podcast with Juvie. Like, I just didn't want to do everything as with Juvie. I'm sure you guys have caught on by now who it's with. <laughs> but, uh, I couldn't think of a fucking name for this. Uh, I didn't want to call it, like, the Juvie Cat. I wanted to keep my name out of it kind of thing. Um, so I put it on Instagram, like, what should I call it? And, uh, Kalonji, that mofo, hit, like, commented, fuck a title show. Just say it, like... Why do we even need it? Like, kind of like, it's not even a name, you know what I mean? Fuck it. And it worked perfect, and I kept it. And, like I like I said in the uh, Censor the Channel vlog, like, who cares? It, it, fuck. If you're offended by that word in a title, then you probably shouldn't watch these videos. Excuse me. But let's get into these. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know how long the episode's gonna be today. Uh, a couple of things we'll get into. Uh, first thing we're gonna get into, I got a new tattoo today, and it sucked to get. Like, I could feel it rattling in my fucking ankle and everything. Just, yeah. Uh, definitely not cool. Uh, I posted it on my Instagram, J-U-V-Y-T-H-A-K-I-D, so go check that out if you haven't. And follow me if you don't. Uh, but yeah, it was no bueno, but I love it. It's got the fucking, the red smoke everywhere. The mint chocolate chip ice cream with, like, little finger bits all painted with, like, the purple nail polish. It says, heebie-jeebies. Yeah. Because we all get the heebie-jeebies once in a while, don't we? But, yeah, either way, I just, I don't know why. It's, like, out of everything, the legs have sucked the worst for me. Like, the side of the neck and, like, the bo like the knuckles weren't great, but... Yeah, no, the the legs just... I think I've only had one that didn't really hurt that bad. Eh, but other than that, they all kind of sucked. No bueno, no bueno. Uh, okay, so old versus new gaming consoles. Um, I think we can all agree that like graphics have gotten better. You know what I mean? Like As far as games go, like you can watch these and it's almost like you're watching a movie. So, some of these almost look like straight up realistic. Um, but, you know, there are the classic ones that have those classic games that I don't think any of us, like, any game nowadays will be able to come, like, close to it, uh, like, nostalgic-wise for us, anyway. Um, 007 Goldeneye, Nintendo 64, come on now, the original Super Smash Bros. on Nintendo 64, like, oh, psh, come on now. I know so many people that played, like, the newer Super Smash Bros. or whatever, and they didn't even know that like the original was on like was on Nintendo 64. Same with Mario Kart, you know what I mean? Mario Party as well. Like what the fuck? Get your life together, folks. God damn it. Do you understand what I'm saying to you folks? Like there's so many like on the classic consoles there's so many like amazing games that we remember we remember remember? Hmm. What's a remember? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> there's so many that we remember and it's either from, like, memories with our friends or they were just really dope games to us. Like, for me, uh, I believe it was I believe it was on the Super Nintendo. It was either on Super Nintendo or an original. I'm, I want to go with a Super, though. But Double Dragon? Psh, that, psh, Double Dragon was where the fuck it was at, my folks. Uh, PS1. Well, N64 crushed it when it came to all the wrestling games, too. WrestleMania 2000, what? Like that was some, that was one of the best wrestling games. But same with PlayStation One, it had a lot of dope ass games too. Oh, what N64 again? Fucking Turok Two, beware! Oblivion is at hand. If you remember that, shouts to you. Uh, but yeah, 
don't, the new ones have like have dope ass games though too because like all of the Arkham games that well I haven't played Arkham Knight yet but all the Arkham games for PS3 like all of those are fucking dope like the Arkham story itself is, is fucking dope as hell uh, Last of Us is pretty dope I only got to play a little bit of it uh, I heard the story is really really good though uh, The Evil Within like that's a dope ass game too for like more recent days uh, what else, what else, what else? I'm trying to think of ones. Oh, what? Infamous 1 and 2 on PS3? <coughs> Excuse me. Those are dope-ass games, too. I don't know. For me, I think it's it's one of those things, like, the old consoles hold that, like, uh, the nostalgic, like, uh, value to us. It's one of those things where, like, we remember how good it was with when we played it as kids or whatever, how dope of a game it was. And, like, we just, we hold on to that, you know what I mean? And the, But the new ones, like, the graphics and what you can do as far as, like, gameplay-wise and everything, like, it's come so far, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. They're, like, I can see reasons for both. Like, if somebody, if somebody, like, would rather play newer systems or if someone would rather play older systems, I can see the argument for, like, both sides with them, to be honest. Uh, me, personally... I I would have, like, an older system for, like, when I feel like playing, like, older games kind of thing, but it, I'd rather play, like, newer systems just because it's, like, like I said, like, I don't know, it's it's something new, too, like, you it's different stories, like, it's, the graphics all, like, are always different, so, yeah, I don't know, I see arguments for both sides, but, uh, like, the NES Classic, like, that kind of got released again and it's like it's making a comeback because what i think is like everybody like kind of everybody jumps on board and uh starts rocking like ni nintendo gear and stuff like that and like there's certain things kind of like keep growing you know what i mean uh with the whole pokemon thing like coming back it reminded a lot of people of their childhood or whatever um there's just different things like i remember hearing about this i think last year or two years ago but uh I think it's just one of those things that say like companies know like the like the nostalgic th like value of things. You know what I mean? I hate that I keep saying using that term, but it's all I can really come up with right now, I guess. Uh, but companies know that like people will buy into that because of like those memories. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. It's kind of. I guess it kind of sucks because. It is, in a way, companies, like, kind of, like, saying, like, ah, oh, we we know, like, you guys will buy this because you have those memories or whatever have you. But it's also cool because if, like, if you're a parent and you have kids and, like, they haven't gotten to experience these kind of games or whatever, it's kind of like bringing the old games back to, like, or bringing the old games back for the newer generations and everything. So that's actually really dope. And you know what I mean? Like, how can you really, like, hate on that? You can't. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think it is, like, I think it is pretty cool that it, they do that. Uh, I remember back in the day you could, uh, like, modify the original Xbox ones and uh, have, like, all the games ever made for, like, Sega and fucking Super Nintendo and everything like that. I used to know, like, my Uncle Mike had one. I used to know a couple friends that had one. But I, oh, I could never get my hands on one. I never knew how to do it. I was always a little jealous of that. Not gonna lie. Not going to lie. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of dope, though, that it, like you can do that and it brings it back for like you to br play with your kids or like you to kind of like relive the memories, you know? But I think the reason it is making a comeback is cause like, I don't know. A lot of styles have made comebacks too. You know what I mean? Like people wear like weird high waisted jeans or, you know, people are wearing the fluorescent colors and everything, but not even as cool as they did in the eighties. Like, let's be honest, the eighties, that, that, that was a special time in music, fashion, in movies, in tele everything. Like, I don't know. Seeing seeing people try and copy that is just a little weird. Especially because they're all, like, teenagers. So they're, they're born in, like, 2000 and up. So that's fucking extra weird. I don't know. Let's continue, though. Uh, okay, so, yeah, the theme that you just heard playing before the show is what you call karate rap. Uh, please, please, 
please YouTube this. Just karate rap. That's all you got to type in. It's like the top video. You'll see. The channel, I believe, is called Sam from Glove. Let's actually, let's check this out so I can give this man some credit. Because, ah, this was brought into my life today, and I'm so thankful for it. Yeah, Sam from Glove. Like, G-L-O-V-E. Sam from Glove. Oh my god, this is, like, I don't know if this is a real thing or people were trying to just be funny. Like, I don't understand, but you guys need to see this. Just the karate rap, the channels, the Sam from Glove, like, you guys will see it. Please go and watch it, listen to it, watch the whole thing. It's, it's amazing from beginning to end. It gets better as it goes on, I promise you. And comment below or hit me up on Instagram and everything and let me know what you guys like thought of it. Because I definitely want to hear your thoughts on this for sure. This is this that'll actually that's the comment below section for today's podcast. Uh, the karate rap. Go watch that and then comment below what your thoughts are on it. Cause it I I'm so thankful to ever have seen this. It's amazing. I love it. <laughs> okay, so I also I was drawing a couple blanks for today. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so I figured we we would revisit the Would You Rather game since we had done that uh, last month, two months ago. I don't know, but either way, we've done it. <laughs> and uh, this was this was one of the first ones that I had pop that popped up from CollegeTimes.com. 30 of the hardest would you rather questions. I don't know if we're going to go through all of them, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. We're going to go through a couple at least. So, uh, okay. Be buried alive or stranded at sea? Stranded at sea. 100% stranded at fucking sea. Cause I don't, it, like what? You're sh are you stranded in the water or are you stranded on a fucking island? But either way, buried alive... Uh, nah, uh. All the all the weight of that dirt and everything, like that's just gonna crush you or crush the box that you're in. So no, I'm cool with that. Stranded at sea, I probably got a chance. I don't know. Tom Hanks made it. I don't care. I'll talk to a fucking volleyball for eight months. Stranded at sea, hundred percent. Uh, spend five years in solitary confinement in prison and become rich, or never go to prison but never become rich. Never go to prison, never become rich. That's that's a, that's an easy one. Okay, so far for these world, like hardest ones, like these aren't too fucking hard. Uh, live in the Harry Potter universe or the Pokemon universe. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not I'm not a fan of either one of these universes. Universi, universes. I don't know. Um, Harry Potter universe. I'd love to be a wizard. Or a giant. Shouldn't have said that, Harry. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Spend five years in prison for something you didn't do. Or ten years for something you did. Ten years for something I did. Because I only would go to jail for like some serious shit. Like, if one of my kids or like family members got messed with. you know, Like, that type of shit. So, whatever. I'll do ten years for that. I'll take that with pride. What can you do? Oh, cool. Here's two that are labeled. Okay. Four guys and four girls. Let's do the ladies. For ladies, have nostril have nostrils that look like vaginas or have a vagina that looks like a nostril. Oh, please comment below or hit me up on Instagram and let me know what you ladies would do. <laughs> That'd be so funny to see the nostrils that look like vaginas though. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great to see them to see that like you guys sneeze like that. Oh no. Yes, please let me know what you ladies would do. Okay, for guys. <laughs> oh no. Have a penis sized nipple or a nipple sized penis? Well, okay, this isn't fair because like both of them could vary very differently <laughs> in size. Um uh, uh, I'm gonna. You know what? They only say nipple, so you could have one regular one and then one weird one, and kind of like have it as a party joke. So I'm going with uh, have a penis-sized nipple. 
because hopefully it's not an erect one because that might be a little awkward <laughs> oh and I gotta do this one because they're showing Merle as the picture right beside drinking in the car with all the walkers outside of it uh, have a sawed off shotgun or have a flamethrower in a zombie apocalypse Ooh, that is a fucking good one sawed off shotguns not good for distance uh, it's not very accurate but it you can hit multiple targets at a time uh, hmm and you could always use it as a blunt weapon after or if you don't have time to reload uh, flamethrower there's no guarantee that's going to kill the zombies. Like, you know what I mean? It's not a guaranteed headshot kind of thing. You could just light them on fire, and then they're walking around kind of like lighting everything else around you on fire. It's not very practical for close-range combat, or if you're in, like, a closed area, like, say you're scavenging for food or supplies in a store or houses or something. It's not very practical for that. Uh, it's not very stealthy either, not that a sawed-off shotgun is, but... It sawed off would be more stealthy as the blunt object if you can sneak up behind. Uh, the flamethrower, you also run into the issue of the backpack, like the tank on your back. If that gets punctured or damaged in any way, you're fucked. Yeah, sawed off shotgun, 100%. Um, pee yourself in public or shit yourself in public, but have to wait three hours to clean it up. Oh, no. That is a hard... That's a hard one, because either one, you're. it's probably going to be noticeable. But at least if you shit yourself in public, it could just be like, you know, like a little raspberry squeezed out, and you can kind of just like pinch your cheeks together to restrain the rest of it. Don't sit down, though, if that happens. I'm going with... Yeah, I'm going with shit... If you, like, shit yourself in public, 100%. <laughs> uh, always be slightly overdressed or always be slightly underdressed ah slightly underdressed I don't want to see like I don't want to seem like I'm trying too hard uh, discover a cure for cancer or find out once and for all if God was real discover a cure for cancer 100% let people believe what they want always have to tell the truth or always lie pshh that's gonna get you into trouble either way. But I've always I've already read it out loud, so I have to answer it. That's the rules. Uh, always have to tell the truth. It's better to get in trouble for telling the truth than it is for lying. You know what? Let's do one more, one more, and then uh, we'll end this. Let's see. Oh, okay. And they got one at right at the bottom. And the worst of all. Dot dot dot. Dun dun dun. Well, ah, oh, watch your parents have sex for the rest of your life or join in once to stop it. Oh, no. Oh, that's a bad one. Watch your parents have sex for the rest of your life or join in once to stop it. Oh, no. Oh, this is a really hard one. Ah. Oh. Fuck. Oh my god. Because it's one of those ones like you just want it to stop. But you don't want to join at all. Oh no. Holy shit. Like you don't want to see your parents doing that. You don't want to join in and you just want it to stop. I own it. Holy shit. This one just fucked my whole night up. My life has totally changed after this point. <laughs> oh my god. Why did I read this one? Oh god. <laughs> I don't even fucking know. Um, and you can't do that shit where you're like, fuck that, I just kill myself. Because I would totally just fucking trump card this or veto card, whatever you want to call it, and just... I'm out. Nope. Fuck it. Had a good run. Ah. Oh my god. I think I just plucked my eyes out either way. 
<laughs> this one is straight up stumped me. <laughs> Cause like I said, like you don't want to watch, you a hundred percent do not want to join in, but you just want it to stop. <laughs> oh God. Uh, what? What if joining in was in the capacity of like a cameraman? What if that's like? Is that a possibility? Nobody's saying no. Cause ah fuck. Oh no. Holy shit! This is like fucking Da Vinci's book of Sudoku. This just stopped everything. Time just stopped, folks. Clock stoppers. What up? Oh my god. If I could just. If you can just get away with being like the cameraman. And then they'll be like, alright, if you just film it, we'll stop. Technically, you're there in the capacity. Then I'd fuck it. I'll do the cameraman job. But I'm not fucking physically touching nobody. That's the only answer I can come up with right now. <laughs> oh, I would love to hear your guys' take on this one. Watch your parents have sex for the rest of your life or join in once to stop it. Oh, there's so much to comment on tonight, folks. So much for you to interact with my piccadillies. <laughs> Man, chocolate milk before the shows might not be a good idea, apparently. Who knows? Either way, we're going to end this fucking freak show. I'm going to try and regain my night here. <laughs> I've been your host, Juvie the Kid. Hit me up on my social media platforms. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope. Let me know what you guys thought of tonight's show. Let me know the thoughts and everything. Uh, the Would You Rathers. I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts on some of those. The one for the ladies. one for the guys. Uh, you know, let's revisit it quick. So the ladies have nostrils that look like vaginas or a vagina that looks like a nostril. For the guys, have a penis-sized nipple or a nipple-sized penis. What's up? Uh, and then definitely that last one. Watch your parents have sex for the rest of your life or join in once to stop it. Because I want to hear what you guys can fucking come up with on that one. <laughs> oh, no. And then, yes, comment below uh, about the karate rap. Go enjoy that. I promise you it will put a fucking smile in your life. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. This has been Fuck a Title Show. I, as always, unless it's been your first time, have been Juvie the Kid. I'm out. <laughs>